praise the Lord. You see, the law reveals man in Adam. The law reveals man in Adam, how Adam was a transgressor. Or how man was a transgressor under Adam. But grace reveals the same man in Christ Jesus. How that same same man who was a transgressor has now been made righteous in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's about what God did right. Not what Adam did wrong. We have preached so much about what Adam did wrong for a long time. It is time you change your preaching. It is time you change your gospel. The gospel is not about what Adam did wrong and what we became out of what Adam did wrong. The gospel is about what Jesus has done right. It is the righteousness of God revealed. Paul says in the gospel, the righteousness of God has been revealed from faith to faith. Not the sinfulness of man. Not the fallen nature of man. Not man in Adam. But the righteousness of God in Christ has been revealed in the Gospels. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. So he tells us, whoever beholds his face in a mirror and he forgets, he turns away and he forgets. You go to the word, you study the word of God, it shows you how righteous you have become, it shows you how holy you have become, it shows you how you've been perfected in Christ. It shows you how you've been sanctified in Christ. It shows you how you've been received in Christ Jesus. How salvation has been given to you as a gift. How you've been made righteous as a gift. But immediately you forget and begin behaving as if you don't know who you are. As if you're a sinner. In many churches you go and you ask them, how many people here, they know they are righteous. You will see maybe one or two hands. And you ask them why. They tell you, you know, we are sinners being saved by grace. Then if you are still a sinner after Calvary, then Calvary did nothing. Then it means the fall of Adam had a bigger impact than the coming of Christ. Then it means that if a cabinet secretary comes here today and he gives his word and the following week the president comes himself and he gives his word. Then it means the word of the cabinet secretary carries the day. Between Adam and Christ, who do you hear? Whose word carries more authority? Why do we still believe that the impact of the fall was bigger than the impact of the second man? I mean the last man, the last Adam, Jesus Christ. Why do we believe so? Why do we call ourselves sinners after Calvary? We are no longer sinners. We are saints. You can't be a saint and a sinner at the same time. It is impossible. Hallelujah. You can't be a sinner in the morning. In the evening you are a saint. Again tomorrow in the morning you are a sinner. Then in the evening again you are a saint. When you go to sleep, you, are, you confess your sins. You sleep as a saint. You wake up in the morning. You go and mess around. You are now a sinner. That is not what Jesus brought us. That is not what Jesus died on the cross for. And if he died for that, then he missed it. He wasted his energy and his life and his time. That is not what the cross brought us. We are completely righteous. Righteousness is not a reward for good behavior. Righteousness is a gift. Those who have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by this one man, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Those who have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. Which means righteousness is a gift. It's not something which you are given after performing. When you promise to buy somebody a present after he does something good and then he does something good and then you have to give him the present that is not a gift. That is a reward. Why? Because you promised him. And he worked for it. And he met the requirements. And therefore you give him. That is what? Is a reward. Not a gift. A gift to give to somebody he has done completely the opposite. He doesn't deserve. He doesn't even qualify.
but you give him. That is a gift. And that is why we were righteous, not because you behaved well. You were righteous because God gave you a gift of righteousness. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't judge your righteousness by your behavior. That you know because today I behaved good. I never abused anybody. Though today I, I, I fasted, I prayed, I'm just from Acacia. Now I'm just, wow, I'm righteous. I'm in cloud seven with God. <laughs> you feel you have just now hit eh, the bull's eye. You are righteous because of the things you've done. That is not righteousness. Amen. 